day two and it's raining. So we're trying to protect our hair from the rain. Anyway, we're off to a tea tree farm to learn about the key ingredient in the new Biosant skincare range. So hopefully it, the rain subsides, but if not, the tea tree is going to be nice and watered. Lovely start to the day. Yeah, <laughs> couldn't imagine a more beautiful day to go to the tea tree farm. <laughs> Dubbing a rainbow, that's how you want to start your morning. We're driving you. What are these called? Combi vans. Combi? Combi vans. Combi. Yeah. Combi vans. Yeah. yeah. What's next? I want to live here and I want to work on the farm to get to live here. Is that how it works? You do labor to get to live at the farm? I don't know. But look at this incredible breakfast setup. Look at this like chia seed bowl. There's a plant store outside of the restaurant. I am obsessed. You know how much I love plants. Whoa. Look at all the plants. Good morning! <laughs> Day three here with Biosun to come to the farm. Um, it's a little rainy, but that means that we've got this beautiful little rainbow over here. If you get down low, you can see it. Mm. Um, we're coming here to learn all about the tea tree that they're using in a bunch of their products. So hopefully we get to like pull some off ourselves and make a little oil as well. <laughs> oh my god! You guys have to meet the resident rooster, Bobby. 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 about four years ago and we started um, basically with the idea we've got four young children and we wanted to teach our children where food came from um, about sustainable farming and about community a lot of the stuff that is coming well, on the plates is coming literally you'll see later from about a hundred yards down there um, so it's it's been an interesting concept because it hasn't sort of been done like this anywhere in the world um, where we're trying to showcase a sustainable way of living. I hope you really enjoyed today and sort of have that lovely connection with Biosense in terms of you know health and deriving things from nature. Um, what you're going to be seeing by distilling that tree, tea tree here is this really beautiful link with how nature basically helps to create a 
healthy being. Now we're starting the tour to learn all about tea tree oil and how they farm it here at the farm. <laughs> I've messaged you for seven years. So we just went running in the rain <laughs> through the fields barefoot. So <laughs> and if you're having a bad day before, you can't have a bad day after that. <laughs> you just can't. But now we've come and we're going to make, um, I think we're making our own essential oils or something along those lines. Tea, that's tea tree. Lavender, rosemary, tea tree. Oh. Now we're going to learn about tea tree and how they sustainably create tea tree oil for the Biosense skincare range. Hello, welcome Hi. to this pop up distillery. Uh, this, this is my passion working with plants in so many different forms. Uh, this process started about 10 minutes ago and already, I hope you can see from where you're sitting, this is the result. This here is a copper alembic still. It's a hand beaten copper still made from Portugal. We have three different common types. Copper, glass and stainless steel are all used commercially to produce massive amounts of essential oils. So what you can see here that's happening now and it will continue to accumulate as we progress through, this top layer is pure essential oil from tea trees. This bottom layer is hydrosol. It's the water soluble components of the plant. The reason we chop it up finely is because the more the plant is broken apart, the easier it is for the plant to release its medicinal compounds. In, in here, there's about 500 grams of essential of, uh, pure tea tree leaves. I'm going to be lucky if I get around 30 mils of essential oil. It literally takes hundreds of plants to create essential oil. And how many plants were in this? Uh, there's, um, is it like one bushel? One and that'll produce that much essential oil? Yes. <laughs> Um, I forgot the, the oil vial to put at the base of it, so it's just dripping a little bit. But what will happen is the hydrosol will continue to come out here. And you can see there where that's water molecules in there yeah. that it hasn't quite separated fully because when it does, it'll create a really thick line. Okay. It's basically just like tea tree bong oil. <laughs> bong water. You got the, you got the good, good for top. To put it in words. This is just the hydrosol? Yeah, it's incredibly important as well. Oh really? That that part of the plant provides um, components that the essential oil can't. Oh smell. 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 Ooh. What, can you smell it? Botanical. I'm going oh, to wow. <laughs> it's, it smells so good though. Oh, okay. oh shit. Oh, is it? Okay, uh, it's a fire. Tea tree. Okay. I do like my fingers, which is time. Cooking and creation is life. Life. So, life. Two. You need to do four of that one. Okay. Or is it? This is the. the that one. one. Yeah, the lavender. And then 10 mils of yes. rosemary. Oh my gosh. Yes. Chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> I have. Wait, surely not. It was not made to do a apothecary. Oh, is it going to have a flow? Ah, uh, nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> they are huge. Cheers, so <laughs> So, we've just finished learning about tea tree oil and we made our own toners. So, we just had a talk, um, I guess uh, an educational little session about how they actually extract the tea tree oil, the essential oil from the tea tree plant itself um, using this little contraption over here. It's a really interesting process and I never realized how much actual plants and flora itself was necessary and needed to 
create such a tiny amount of essential oil. So using like a quarter of a whole tea tree plant makes something like 30 to 60 mils, she said. So that's, that's insane. It makes you a lot more aware of exactly what you're putting on your face. Um, and that's, I love that. I love becoming more conscious about what I'm using, how I'm using it, and where it comes from especially. So we learned all about tea tree oil and how they use it in the Biosense tea tree range. So I've been using the cleansing gel, detox mask, and the balancing oil, which is great for my oily skin. And I actually think it's been clearing up my pimples really well important is to check where your tea tree comes from and that's why it's so good that the tea tree comes from here because it's so pure and high grade um, a lot of tea tree oil if it's farmed elsewhere in the world only has 13 properties or molecular properties that do beneficial things whereas the one that Biosons uses has 113. So you have to make sure that you're getting the right tea tree oil. It's just really cool to be able to get effective skincare while still having it clean and ethical. A new skincare line? Wow, so official. Yay! After making this botanical toner, this has also inspired me to, you know, look at all the ingredients in my skincare. I mean, I'm not perfect for sure, but I think making little baby steps on finding more sustainable and ethically caught ingredients in your skincare, that's something to, to consider. So yeah, it's all, today's a day all about knowledge and I feel like I'm learning a lot on this trip. We are at our second location. We are at the Newbury Downs and it's this gorgeous estate. We've got, <laughs> this is just a, a theme here. It's just me and table settings freaking out. But we're having some lunch here and it's so beautiful. There is like a, a singer giving me Frank Sinatra vibes in this rain. Serenading to whom? I guess to us. Oh yes. Much of you on an evening in Roma. Just to make it even better, there's a tuxedo. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, bathroom dolls. Again, as I said, everything, there's art in here. <laughs> <laughs> this bathroom isn't a museum. Boy, 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 Oh my god. Looks like a <laughs> what are these called? These mini pickles? Uh, cornichon. Yeah. Cornichons. These are my favorite. I could eat 18 of these. <laughs> I love these. Yes, beetroot hummus, yeah. eggplant hummus, in the morning, yeah. and then you're like, oh, is it cauliflower? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you go with the flow, you don't stop. Do like a jellyfish, but that means nothing. You go with the flow, you don't stop. Two hours of pushing broom by you.